All right, so what's going on everybody? It's J.A. It's the Friday show. We made it through a whole nother week, but of course we got a huge weekend ahead of ourselves. So let's go ahead and jump right into these updates. Now to kick things off, yesterday we had Derrick Rose announce his retirement from the NBA, which as far as his accolades, that would include NBA Rookie of the Year, three All-Star selections, as well as MVP, the youngest to do it, by the way. So of course, I think most people will remember Derrick Rose, you know, as the shortcomings of all the injuries and everything like that. But he's definitely a testimony to staying down as he had a very successful 16 year long career. So we know him for being an Adidas signee who held down the brand for years. They did honor him with his little social media post. And of course, we all remember the Derrick Rose, DZ, Yeezy prototype, which will probably never see the light of day. So salute to the legend. Now, speaking of Adidas basketball, we do see that they have five new colorways of the Crazy 8 Low on the way. All of these pairs do represent various HBCU schools, including Alabama State, Alcorn State, Grambling State, Prairie View A&M, and Arkansas Pine Bluff, which all get their school colors translated into this model right here. So fan of this joints right here, which we did see Adidas debut the low version like sometime last month. So be on the lookout as these will be dropping coming up October 1st for a retail of 120 bucks. Now, next up, we have an update on the Jordan 1 Rare Air, which we know next year Jordan brand has plans for a four three as well as a detailed look here we have at these jordan ones which as far as the design element the main feature on here this black swoosh apparently does uh, rub off to feature a red swoosh right here so this will be an interesting release come next year especially given the current state of the jordan one now we also see pre-orders have went live for Jalen brown's new independent sneaker which of course we just talked about a couple of episodes ago so if you guys are looking to grab these joints pre-orders are available right now for the 741 rover which you guys can check out 741 performance retail on these joints is 200 so some may think a little bit steep but of course we do know as a independent brand you know prices are gonna be a little bit more expensive than a major corporation so if you guys are looking to grab these check out the pre-order which is live right now just be aware pairs will begin to start to ship out like end of November and apparently there's supposed to be some type of limited uh, release for this sneaker coming up sometime in October now as far as today's releases we did see Nike drop the latest CPFM collection which included an entire capsule of different clothing items so you had a hockey short which retailed at 110 bucks flight track pant at $145 long sleeve polo for $135 goalie jersey for $165 reversible hockey jersey which came in at $185 bucks as well as a home versus away jersey set which retailed at $135 so we did see these joints drop via the sneakers app which I ain't gonna lie y'all at this point in my life I feel like you know stuff like this just is no longer for me but salute if any of you guys grab this and apparently we have a rumored huge shock drop going down today for the Wu-Tang dunk so the classics will be back apparently these joints are supposed to be so limited that we're supposed to see somewhere around like 2,000 pairs or less uh, for the sneakers app shop drive so uh, we haven't seen it went live as of yet while I am recording so by the time you're watching this the drop may have went live so let me know if any of you guys had success on that drop and with those quick updates out of the way let's go ahead and jump into our main stories which of course everybody's been going crazy all week for these upcoming Travis Scott's now a couple of days ago we did actually see something very interesting where as far as prices resale prices for this pair right here on the secondary market actually reached an all-time low um, as far as Travis Scott releases goes but of course just about a day out from the official release we are now starting to see those prices going back up so it looks like the hype for this drop is definitely real now as far as for the release we know these will be dropping via the sneakers app tomorrow we also should expect to see possibly a Travis Scott drop my guess would be probably sometime tonight via his official website and then as far as other retailers we will see select retailers have these joints available which they're dropping them however they prefer to whether it's like an in-store raffle for local pickup or some places are offering international raffles as well now the early rumors floating around people were trying to hype this pair up saying there was going to be like 180,000 200,000 pairs of these but now once like we were just a few days out from the official drop we actually didn't see too many places raffling these off but a raffle that did actually go very viral this just like kind of gives you a gauge of the demand how crazy people are going for these this um concepts raffle was going viral which the thing that everybody was talking about there was like over a million plus entries 
for this raffle. Now, I'm assuming that a majority of those raffle entries were probably botted out, but the crazy part about it is that this was actually for an in-store raffle. It wasn't even an internationally available um, shipped offer. So this is crazy. People are going nuts for these Travis Scott's. On top of that, we're also seeing resellers stocking up on these. So it looks like the back door is wide open as last night, this clip right here started going viral. As you see, this one individual by himself already got thousands of pairs of this highly anticipated release ahead of the official launch day. So if this one person got thousands of pairs by himself, does that mean there's gonna be any leftover pairs for any of us out here? We'll have to wait and see. Now, as far as the sneakers app drop, we do have some reliable information from a sneaker insider uh, who goes by the name of Uncle Chrissy over on Twitter. He's saying that as far as the sneakers app drop, we'll probably see around 62,000 pairs available for this highly anticipated drop. So with a number such as that for Saturday's big sneakers app drop, do you guys feel like there's gonna be enough pairs to go around? And if you miss out on this drop, are you gonna go ahead and give your hard earned dollar, pay those resale ticket, to a dude such as this yourself. I feel like as far as this raffle or this drop right here, I feel like all the hype is unnecessary. This is one of those pairs where you should just go for it. If you miss out on it, keep it moving because you already know this will not be the last Travis Scott Jordan 1 that Nike plans to release. And then lastly, we saw Nike do something very cool yesterday, something we've been asking for for a while now, and that's pre-order. So of course, there's been this big debate, you know, as of recently, in regards to sneaker releases, when it comes to like these hype releases, why? Why don't Nike just put these joints up available for pre-order? That way it can kind of ensure that everybody's guaranteed their pair. So it looks like yesterday they did actually do that where they introduced the Nike dot swoosh. It's called the Air Max One Low Poly. So as you guys see right here, this sneaker was introduced with an unboxing by a popular streamer, Kai Sinai. So whether you love him or hate him, you know, he's real popular with the kids or whatever. So I thought that was a cool look. Although I do feel like his reaction was uh, definitely full but you know it is what it is I think that his reaction to those a6 that we showed the other day was a lot more genuine but hey it is what it is now as far as this pair right here you guys see what's going on with the design right here it's kind of got like that glitched almost like video game type of an effect right here so although this is a release that's not really catered towards me I do love the fact that they are putting these up available for pre-order so if you guys are looking to grab these pre-orders will go live it says coming up here on October 8th. So retail on these will be 150 bucks and um, it looks like pairs will be shipping out approximately 120 days after you pre-order your pair. So I like this move right here. I like the fact that they're, you know, switching things up as far as the release, you know, hitting us with the little pre-order option. That way it can guarantee everybody can, uh, you know, grab themselves a pair right here. So we'll see if Nike maybe applies this release strategy to some of their more hype releases come the future. It'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. But as far as the pre-order method, I would say it's probably not something that we'll see happen due to the fact that it seems like nowadays a lot of people only buy sneakers if they feel like they're gonna sell out. And if there's no like hype and everything like that surrounding a pre-order, I don't really see it being as like an effective release strategy. So we'll see how this whole thing plays out. But as far as these Kaisenat joints right here, not for me, but definitely love the release strategy right here. So we're gonna wrap things up right here. Drop your feedback on today's show. Let me know if you guys are going for them Travis Scott joints. Well, I shouldn't ask because I know everybody's gonna be going for them. But what I should ask, are you going for them to wear for the personal or are you going for them to resell? So drop your feedback. And do y'all feel like with that one dude having all them pairs to himself, is there any leftover just for the regular folks out there? Let me know down below. And if you guys enjoyed, please help out by dropping a thumbs up in the comment section below. So as we head up out of here, we're gonna take a look here at a clip of Tremaine Emery, who has uh, responded to the various bootleggers um, who are putting out fakes of his uh, popular brand, Denim Tear. So I'm J.A., I'll catch you guys next time. In the meantime, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Love. From Ice Cream Car Miami. Just wanna let y'all boys know, man, we got that drip, you hear me? We got the new denim tears and stuff. We got them in all colors, man. We got the gray. We got the black. We got the white.